I longed for home, this isle on which giants once roamed. Behold the land of saints and scholars, where stories unfold of broider gold and Saint Ohine, who slew the final serpent on these shores. Four provinces, ours to the north, the bloodied hand that demanded the vengeance of Cahulin. Snug as a gun, we feast on the words of Heaney and Lewis, of witches in wardrobes, heaven and hell. We tend to dwell on our ancestors' past. Home rule, us and them, on blight and famine. The gales who took flight, sailed across oceans, survived that plight, planted seeds, formed roots, our family branching now throughout the globe. Like them, I left, longed for home, for friendships forgotten, for the estate. Four square blocks in a row stuck together like Lego. A home he never left. Bell fast, knock a door run, we fled just me and him. The only Catholic on our block. Sped round the mound, bound past the flats towards the field. Stacked high with crates where we met our mates who at school once asked, Are you a pig or a cow? I'm a horse, I declare. Twist him a plaited hair in confusion, yet with defiance has a gripped his hand. Eight years old, no alliance has fallen on the playground that day. But this day, we were in demand, rummaging through broken brollies, state mattresses and stolen trolleys from the crossroads to build our beacon. Mum would have killed me if she'd known. We never went to the bony. That week, each year spent instead across the water far from parades, on our own escapades, with no pigs, nor cows, none of that talk aloud in our family. She cried when the flag went up outside our house. After bed, I snuck out to see him, quiet as a mouse, three doors down to our spot, the shed. No show. Door stopped rapping that day. No more knock a door run. Small dark eyes that had peeped through our letterbox disappeared. I had no God, never set foot in a church, no fidelity. And yet to them somehow still just a prod. Big school began, slowly but surely I grew. Years flew by and before I knew I wanted, needed out, no doubt in my mind. Time to leave the nest, to flee. For me to be free of postcode politics, of being told who I can and can't marry, that I have to carry the term. So like my ancestors, I took flight, the future looking pretty bright. This light, this spark quickly dimmed. From the moment the plane left the ground, an invisible thread began to tug at my heart. The hymn of home. A siren summons, calling from a return. Over there, you're Irish, just Irish. It's kind of nice. Except for when they claim they can't understand a word you say. No burning of flags on bonfire night there. No, just fox and fireworks, actual fireworks. No license required nor desired for purchase. Not like back home. Cause home really is the estate. Four square blocks in a row on the corner of which rests a shed. Our spot, now covered in creeping ivy. Inside, echoes of glee and scraped knees reside from the days we jumped off its roof. Home is the past, a patchwork quilt of memories, woven together yet frayed at the edges. A new patch being sown by the next generation, even as I speak. They will plant seeds, new ideas, lay roots like our ancestors. A fresh path for us all, branching throughout the province. Now I'm here to join them. An invisible thread that tugged at my heart until my return. It was a long time coming, the rain drumming, of course, in welcome as I arrived. One deep breath and I am revived. The smell of home. 
dark eyes meet mine, mere strangers on our street, I remember. Does he? It's different. Different than I remembered. Different and yet the same. Still four square blocks in a row. The place I belonged. Longed for. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the one who's changed.